Yo guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial how you can be qualified for the MetaMask airdrop if they're going to announce one in the future. As you can see, Consensus posted this image and there's a date. You might guess that this is a date. Maybe that's a snapshot. We don't know that yet. This is just a quick speculation. I'm going to be showing you the steps that might qualify you for the future airdrop. The next tweet that they posted is, you can see essentially that's a kind reminder. You use the MetaMask Bridge, which is the tool built in the MetaMask, and you can bridge your assets from um, Ethereum, for example, to Arbitrum, Polygon, Optimism, Avalanche, and so on. But essentially, they make money once you swap your Ethereum to different chains. They charge less than 1% from your transaction. So that's how you can be qualified once you move more funds. It's going to give you a better chance to get a better allocation for the Musk token. So first of all, what you need to do is go to the website called chainlist.org and add some different chains to your MetaMask. So for example, you can add BNB, you can add Arbitrum, Polygon, uh, optimism avalanche and so on just add a few of these because uh, if you for example send your funds to arbitrum you can send it for cheaper because the fees are cheaper also polygon and optimism and ethereum is slightly higher but you can also deal with it if you click on add to metamask it's just gonna give you a pop-up and you just need to sign in and you're gonna have your another network in your metamask so step one is done the step two is you need to go to your app so for example if you click on metamask and then you need to click on the portfolio site once you click it, you're going to see this portfolio. And in here, you need to do two steps. So step one, you can go to your bridges. To, and in here, you can basically bridge Ethereum to different networks. So for example, we can bridge something to Arbitrum. And that's very simple. It usually takes a couple minutes to confirm the transactions on the chain. And in here, you need to select the Ethereum. And you will receive the Ethereum on Arbitrum. And also try to move as much funds as possible. Because if you're going to make more transactions, you're going to make more volume on the chain. Also, you're going to be considered as the quality user and you're going to get a better allocation. So basically do this, I would say, at least 10 times because maybe they're going to have some barrier, for example, for three um, swaps or five swaps or maybe 10 swaps. At least do it 10 times, in my opinion. So on the Ethereum chain, you can bridge your Ethereum to Arbitrum, for example. And from Arbitrum, you can bridge it to Polygon and optimism so make sure you do at least 10 different uh, bridges but once you got that ready make sure you also use as much funds as possible try to create a volume at least one thousand dollars but once that's done step number three is you need to go to the swap feature and try to swap for different coins for example you have your ethereum so you can swap ethereum to um let's say to Aave token and try to use different tokens because maybe they're gonna have some criteria as well if you own any different tokens so for example we have Aave we also can get another tokens like for example Maker DAO and do some swaps between them because also MetaMask is gonna look different than you because some people just try to bot the airdrops and they do five swaps or three swaps and they basically move to another account if you're gonna have more tokens they're gonna consider you as a better user because you generally use this platform so make sure you do this at least 10 times for different tokens on different chains for example you have ETH you have also uh, Arbitrum so try to swap something to Arbitrum and also swap some tokens next step I would say it's also good to have some more NFTs so if you traded NFTs in the past that's also a great sign because you use uh, transactions you also made quite a lot of transactions if you traded NFTs in my opinion that's also gonna put you in a better light and last important step I would say you need to make a donations on Gitcoin because Gitcoin is owned by consensus as well so maybe they consider you because you contributed somehow to different projects on the chain so for example, if you go to bounties.kitcoin.com, you can find different grants. So for example, if we search for trending and if you scroll down below, you can see different grants. So make sure you choose one that you really like. So for example, I like this one. So you can click up to cart and if in here, you can just basically go to your cart, check out and make sure you choose the option that you want to pay with the Ethereum. So if you go back here, you can basically select um, and above $10 is really good in my opinion. So let's say 0.007. Um, and you switch it to if you also click the apply changes and in here you have basically your uh, summary so make sure you change it to for example one percent and here you click on this arrow and you click standard checkout so once that's done it's gonna make a transaction you're also gonna see on if you scan that you made a donation so that's also really good so that's pretty much done what you have to do to get qualified for the metamask airdrop and hopefully we're all gonna get a nice chunk of tokens and of course join my discord because this is where we discuss different upcoming airdrop opportunities also discussing different nft projects and don't forget to subscribe to my channel comment down below what you think about this video and i'll see you in the next one